So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is Other Ryan here. And today we once again have another interesting theory for you all. And this one is actually centered around the Give Cake to the Children minigame. Now, in this minigame, I think everyone pretty much knows that on the outskirts of the establishment, a child appears to be murdered by a man in a purple car. And what we're actually suggesting here is that the child murdered might not be the puppet. Many people believe that the child we see killed is actually the puppet, and the main driving force of this was the crying lines down the face after the child is deceased. Yeah, and I think the other driving force was the jump scare that follows at the end, because we're all presented with a jump scare of the puppet. But you kind of have to think, I mean, we all know what the puppet's driving force is, especially from the Give Gifts and Give Life minigame. It kind of, the name really says all of the minigame, doesn't it? Yes. Kind of says the puppet's intentions and things, so could this be almost like a direct hint towards the puppet becoming kind of like the main driving force that's going to bring all these murdered chars back and kind of, you know, avenge the purple guy for killing them. Yes, I mean, what we're trying to suggest in this theory is that the child we see who is killed is actually Golden Freddy's lost soul. Yeah. So now we're going to jump over to Five Nights at Freddy's 3 and one of the most important mini games within the game. Now, the mini game entitled Happiest Day, we are actually in control of what is presumed to be the marionette because the mask looks very similar, looks very much alike the marionette. Now, if we actually progress towards the right hand side of the screen, we can see what appears to be a small crying child. Yeah, and basically, what if this child is the child that we saw in the Give Cake minigame? What if this is in the same establishment as that previous minigame? Exactly, and I think another really important thing is the very distinct crying lines down the face, isn't it? Yes, I mean, yeah. that was obviously, like I said, a driving force. Many people thought that that is the afterlife, how it was formed, the yes. puppet tears were formed. But, you know, if all the dead children look like this, then, you know, I don't think that is a valid point anymore. Yeah, and I think the very obvious crying lines that go all the way down the face in this one are kind of stressing that this isn't the puppet, you know, it's kind of breaking the, the character when it was only just going down the face, it's now going down the whole entire body to the floor, and it's almost saying that this fifth child, I suppose we could call it, is something of more significance. Yes. Now, in the Give Gift, Give Life minigame, we see the puppet giving gifts and giving life to each dead child, and it's not until the very last frame that we see a fifth missing child, who yeah. is supposedly Golden Freddy. Yes, and he's actually sat dead central in the room. We don't actually get to give this fifth animatronic any form of gift or any animatronic head, but as you said before, it's the Golden Freddy jump scare which follows after it. It's kind of like a real a punch in the gut, I suppose you could say, towards saying, you know, this crying child is yeah. not the marionette. This is definitely Golden Freddy. And it does make you think, because you're controlling the marionette, giving gifts, this must tie into the Take Cake to the Children minigame where we see him outside murdered. And it's almost like, I don't know, the marionette jump scare, it, it kind of, it to me, it kind of shows that that minigame was definitely before you see all the dead children, of course. And the marionette jump scare pursues to say, right, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to, give the gifts to all these children who have been murdered, as I said before, to avenge the murderer. And, you know, yeah, as I said before, the Golden Freddy jump scare is just a huge hint. Once we actually complete each of the minigames up to the night where we can award the crying child with the cake, that is when the Golden Freddy mask seems to drop from the final child. Now, this might actually directly link in with the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Give Gifts and Give Life minigame. Now, what we have to remember here is that we are giving gifts to the four animatronics. That is Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and last but not least, Foxy. And then the fifth child appears, but we don't actually give gifts to him at all. So, because of this fifth child being very bare bones, not having any gifts towards him, this might actually tie into why we have to do so much, and maybe that's why the fifth child in the center has nothing. We have to, you know, give him the gifts, give him the life, and that's when he finally becomes Golden Freddy, because what you have to think about is, in all of the games, Golden Freddy actually has no lights within his eyes, does he? No, he doesn't. So it's almost like he's not been given the gift of life, and then in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, all of the other animatronics work together, and they kind of give him the gift of life, and that's why, as I keep saying in the Give Gifts and Give Life minigame, we see the fifth child sat in the center of the room with nothing, and that can actually expl explain why he's so upset. Maybe he's been forgotten almost. Yeah, it does feel like that. I mean, as we said in previous videos, that something about Golden Freddy is very important. I mean, why would the puppet and these lost souls go out their way to try and you know, give life to this, like, person. I mean, there's got to be some kind of importance to this Golden Freddy character. Yeah, I definitely think there is, and it's very unique because he seems to be one of the only animatronics that throughout all of the games, he doesn't really have anything within his eyes. There's no form of power going through him, so it's quite obvious he's not alive. So maybe the Give Gifts and Give Life minigame, accompanied with the Happiest Day minigame, is something very important. They are very closely entwined, and it might actually show why this Golden Freddy has no power, and when we restore the power, they are all finally set free. Yeah. Now, many of you might 
might be thinking, you know, fair enough if you guys think this, but what about the puppet? You know, who is the puppet? But what we need to think is, has the puppet always been here? Has, it, has he been there since before the Fredbear Diner, possibly? Yes, and I think probably one of the most important driving factors of this comment right here is his overall design. Now, you know, a lot of people also nickname him to be the marionette. And with his kind of string design, for all we know, the, ma the puppet could be a really old animatronic. I mean, he could even be like the first ever characters introduced to the f the Fredbear, you know, the family. He could be the first ever thing introduced, couldn't he? Yeah, because obviously he still plays a role in Five Nights at Freddy's too. You know, he's the puppet in the box. So yeah, he's always kind of been there, I guess. And I mean, that accompanied with the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Happiest Day Again when we play as him. He's still there. He knows of all these animatronics and he's trying to help them by giving gifts to them however he can. Yes. So, all right then, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. This was actually a really interesting look, and throughout this video, it's actually made me think, is there a huge link between the Give Gifts Give Life minigame and the Happiest Day minigame in Five Nights at Freddy's 3? They both seem to work in synchrony, and I think that fifth child in the center is definitely a representation of this crying child. So, yeah, comment down below what you guys also think on this video and also the theory. And if you guys want to put any information to contrast or also go along with this theory, feel free to do so. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys, and we'll, of course, see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys. Want to see even more content from us? Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?